Hey guys, I'm Rather Carstoni Means. Today we're going to be talking about the Packers versus 49ers Thursday night football game from week nine, just yesterday's game. <laughs> um, it was uh, pretty much it was a huge blowout from the Packers. Even the fact, I mean, it was 34 to 17, which is a pretty rough score on its own, but. Uh, it was really a much worse game than that. The 49ers just couldn't get anything going. I'm pretty sure they got both of their touchdowns like within five minutes of the fourth quarter when the game was basically over. Um, I, I was honestly really surprised that we didn't see C.J. Beathard come on. I thought at halftime, I think they were already down 21-3, to I thought we'd see C.J. Beathard go on. Because, I mean, he hasn't played too badly when he's gone on there. And Nick Mullins, he only had a quarterback rating of 86. I'm looking at my notes. Um... As you know, I've always got my in-depth notes. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna have, have a video on how I make these at some point. At some point, I will like I'll record a week of me making notes. I'll do it at some point. Maybe I'll release it for like, uh, I don't know, a, a sub milestone. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, um, Devontae Adams had an amazing game. Um, 173 yards. Also. 49ers are so banged up that Richard James, or Richie James, Ricky James, I don't know whose first name is, his R. James, had 184 yards and a touchdown. So congratulations to him. Has anyone ever heard of him? I haven't. Um, but anyways, I mean, it was a pretty rough game. The 49ers really, I mean, they looked bang up on offense. They couldn't get anything going on offense. They also couldn't stop the Packers. Uh, I mean, Told you in there, they, the Packers put in their backup quarterback, and then finally the 49ers started getting stops, but that's only because the Packers were just running the ball to end the clock. Um, I mean, the only other thing is that, you know, all the kickers, we didn't see a missed kick goal. We didn't, we didn't see a missed field goal or extra point, so, I mean, that's pretty good, um, I guess. Um, yeah, it was a pretty rough performance there by the 49ers. I thought they would be able to keep it close, keep it a bit competitive, but no, they completely flopped. It was a 17-point loss, and yeah, I mean, with their upcoming schedule being pretty rough, the 49ers are in position to plummet. They are 4-5 and five right now, which is brinking, it's like on the brink of terrible. Um, and really, uh... Yeah, if they if they continue if they're four and six, four and seven, I mean they're already barely still. I mean even even if they, you consider them still in the race for the NFC rest, they are barely hanging in there um, by like a string, a tiny tiny string that's about to break. Um, really, their their chances for this season have basically died. Would not be surprised if C.J. Beth would go in there. Um, I think he would do better. Also heard a Porsche they're trying they're considering signing Josh Johnson. Definitely a pretty good deal. When he played for Washington, he actually did okay. Uh, again, he wasn't good in any means, and I don't think he deserves a start on any team. But um, he'd be much better than Nick Mullins and C.J. Beathard combined. So, yeah, the 49ers completely flopping the Packers. Back on track, rough loss last week. Bounce back this week with a win. Pretty short video here, but you know, I like to you know make a separate video for Thursday Night Football, Monday Night Football, um, just because... I want to, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> All right, if you like football, we post NFL content every single day of every single week. Uh, in the season, off season, every single day, you're getting something twice a day on Wednesdays. Sometimes on the off season, I try, I post twice a day, like a lot. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure last off season I posted, I'd post like one video, two videos, one video, two videos. It's I'm not gonna be able to do that grind again this off season, but still. You're here. We post a lot, so if you like NFL, please subscribe. Also, like this video. Um, it's just a quick little recap. We try to do those um, all the time. We do recaps. We do predictions. We do previews of each Washington game, and and um, I also, as a Washington fan, rant about them after every game. Like I react to their game that Sunday. So if that's the kind of thing that interests you, if you like to watch um, a fan of a bad team talk about how good they are after they lost by 50 points, maybe this is a channel for you. Comment what you think about this game. What does it mean? What do you think? You know, is happening with the 49ers? Should they? sign somebody what should happen do you think they have any playoff chances let me know in the comments down below anything is okay with me um thank you guys all so much for watching this whole video um i hope to see you in my next video in fact i know i'll see you in my next video or else